I flew the world's largest FPV racing drone and it scared the absolute daylights out of me. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here and this is the Squire. This absolute monstrosity right here is the biggest drone you can get in the world when it comes to FPV racing. This 10 inch bad boy is power packed. What we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna have some crazy fun with it and fingers crossed, we're gonna need our safety protection because it is going to be a lot of fun. We're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna meet up with Stickman Steve and find out why for honestly, under 300 bucks, this is uh, kind of crazy considering normally we look at some little micros. So this drone right here is actually cheaper than this little bad boy I've got in my hand. So as a bit of an overview, before we go out to the field, I can't even get it in the roof cam. So let's go through some of the text and the specs that makes this thing special. And then fingers crossed, let's go have an adventure like we've never done before. So the overview, like I mentioned, it's a Squire. It can carry up to four kilos. That's what it's recommended carrying weight is. I don't really care about that. We're gonna be strapping some big chunky batteries on here because it says you can get up to 45 minutes of flight time, which is absolutely unheard of on like a race drone normally we're talking like three or four minutes it has some huge 10 inch uh props on here unfortunately i only got four props so we do not want to crash this straight off the bat because we want to put it through its paces we've got some it's running on 6s some 900 kv motors right here i'll put all like those texts and specs uh, a little pop-up or a link or something should be there you can choose your own options one thing to mention uh it does have an xt90 connector which is almost unheard of because normally we've got like xt30s or xt60s jumping up to an xt90 i had to like butcher an old power supply service to get this and make a little adapter to get that flying but a big vtx in there so it should be pumping out some nice clear video for us it is just of course analog and we've got elrs in the back there is gps options but that's really not what I'm interested in. I wanna go have some fun with this, see if we can get it up to that 140, 150 kilometer per hour mark that it recommends. And fingers crossed, we don't have an accident because I did some little test hovering with this and it is scary. Like when this starts to spool up, you, didn't, you need to take this drone seriously. So let's go do that in the field right now. We're gonna meet up with Stickman Steve and fingers crossed uh, we get this back or at least we have a fun adventure. So let's go do it with the world's largest FPV racing drone in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field with this bad boy, you can barely lift it, the 10 inch. We're gonna go have some fun with it, but I need to do some testing first because I gotta say it's scary. Like I don't want this thing to explode. We're gonna see how many amps we can give it, see what Stickman Steve thinks he's in the background as well and then uh, take it on a real adventure. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've just taken this thing off and it is jittery jumping all over the place and I feel like it is windy, but uh, I feel like that is a representation of larger quads. They definitely feel the wind a little bit more. I'm on like zero throttle almost, or like it feels like about 20% throttle. I'm going to go for a faster little cruise. You can hear the thing. And I'm getting jumpy video all over the place. Video is fine in terms of reception for analog. I'm gonna to come to a cruise by and you see why I was kind of scared hovering it. <laughs> what VTX is in this one? So this one's got like a three watt crazy long range VTX. We're not running it at those high power levels. If it goes good, fingers crossed, or else uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Ready? <laughs> Well, it didn't break. That's good. It's given me some confidence. I definitely need more camera tilt. All right, I'm gonna focus on the drone a little bit for the review before we go have some fun. So it's jumping all over the place. It's not really pleasurable to fly. It says it can lift a lot, like the 10, what is it, the 10 inch and a couple of kilos right here. Uh, and it is crazy windy in the background, so it's definitely gonna be having an effect on this. It feels large too, in terms of like cornering. I don't know who this is suited for, like what sort of missions, missions might be the word here. You're going to need a very specific uh, role that you want this to fill. I'm going to go a little bit further. I mean, I'm on 3.4 volts per cell, so it does also suck the juice, 3.5. Video is fine. I'm going to start bringing it in, man, because our flight times have not been that long. And already I feel like this battery voltage is struggling. I know that's a light bar as well, but that's a brand new success. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to check the DVR and see what our takeoff voltage was, but I think this was uh, ready to go. Uh, let's bring it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary, man. I'm going to hand it over and see what you think. Oh, Christ. Pull, I didn't pull. like it. Yeah, okay. Felt like I was driving a bus. So like that 7-inch. Have you flown the 7-inch? 100 times building? better than that. Oh, 
it's a beast. I mean, it has lifting power, but I don't know if we really need that. Yeah, yeah, it's meant to be flown much longer. Like, that's a 3,800, I believe. Yeah, 3,300. You'd think you get better flight times than that. We'll check on the other battery. Steve, here we are, the 10 inch. What's your first thoughts? You didn't see it in the air, but we've had nothing like it. So this is going to be quite interesting. Well, just as a comparison, we just put together the fishing drone, seven yeah, inch. Yeah, that's a seven inch and that makes, that this is so much bigger than that. Yes, yes. Absolutely nuts. I do like the look of it. It looks cool. It looks kind of prowly, very intimidating. Yes. But. Just what about the punch out? What did it look like in that punch out? Did it look screamy or not really? No, it didn't look screamy uh, yep. at all. Okay. And that was, as we were just saying, a brand new 6S, so plenty of power there. I don't know. Yeah, it, it didn't seem like it just took off. Yep. Like you'd expect. You yep. Know? For something that's got so much purchase in the air, it kind of looked powerful. Like not much would stop it. But yes. Yeah, not crazy. Not okay. Crazy speeds. All right. Let's, well, they reckon you can get 150 kilometers. What? And they said 45 minutes flight time. With what battery? I don't know. Like, yeah. I would be amazed with any battery. Yeah, because what was that, two and a half? Yeah, something like that. We'll, get, well, we'll check it on this next battery, just in case maybe that was a dud lipo. So we have two, yep. so we'll see see how we go. Yep. Steve, so your battery voltage is okay on this one? Yeah, 24.7, pretty much brand new. Well, this battery's never been in the air, so. Yep, yep. Good voltage, we'll see how long this one lasts, eh? Okay, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> so we're on it. Oh, Christ. Whoa. Yeah, it's. I can hear one of those props like whirring, and we've been very gentle on it. It's got a lot of vibration. Yes. Another thing too, I was prepared for that when we built the seven inch, but that thing's smooth as butter. Yep. This first impressions, yes, very slow. <laughs> Battery voltage already sagged to 3.6. They're big motors on there. They yep. are, yeah. But. Now look, we should say that it has an XT90 that we're adapting to an XT60, but this battery still should should not be sagging that much from something. All right, right. Come, in, come and give me a punch out. Yeah, right. Because you feel like, are you just cruising it at the moment? I am. It yeah. always looks like it's not going to pull up. Okay. Yeah, you got to get quite aggressive with it. Yeah, okay, come a bit closer. Oh, oh. I know, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah. And it's so all over the place. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, man. All right. Go. Okay, I feel like it's going to burst into flames when I'm doing that. Like, yeah, it's not as much as you you're expecting, you know. Yes. Yeah, very slow in the turns. I mean, a low RPM cruiser, yeah, maybe. Yeah, is that a big maybe? Because would you take this over your normal seven inch? No, definitely not. Oh my god, yeah, I don't like this. Now, when it comes in for a land, how's your battery times going? Um. 3.6 per cell still, but okay. I am not doing anything. No, you were just cruising. It always looks like it's not going to pull up. It looks like it's it's yeah. it's hard to fight, isn't it? It doesn't yeah. want to change direction. It's loud. Oh my god, yeah, no. <laughs> what happened then? I just don't like it. Okay. That's, that's already flashing low battery constantly now. Alright, bring it in. Yeah, right. Uh, I've got your arm switch, okay? Oh, yeah. So you, you, you just get close and I'll... Yeah, just go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go and unplug and then come back. Let me stop your DVR. Yeah. Just to mention too, these props, they're not bent. They're not, they haven't had any nicks. There's been no crashes. It's 100% brand new. Yeah, yeah. All right, Steve. Oh, right. Brand new. So what did you say when, you, when I ran over to get that? I heard you in the background. It's like, yuck. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't like it. Let's put that there, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's unplugged, so it's yeah. safe now. We can probably take that battery off and stuff. Did you like it? Not one bit. Yep. Not one bit. Would I you go out and buy this? No, definitely not. Yep. So it is about two hundred and something dollars. So it's budget. No, maybe maybe two hundred and eighty dollars. So yep. it's getting close. Yeah, yeah. So it is a budget. Absolutely. For that size. But yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's the the arms, the length of the arms, obviously gonna affect it a bit. But even if it had good video, I feel how hot that motor is. Yeah. That's not good at all. Defi ah, yeah, yeah, definitely the tuning yeah. is uh, out of whack too. Yeah, so even if it had good video, I don't know if that's just the vibrations or the motors. Yeah, I don't think, I don't even think digital would save it, yep. No, it wouldn't. The, no. the experience is not pleasant at all. Yes. Nah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, see, I wanted what I wanted to do. I'm glad we tested this here because I want to do some real mountain cruising and, yeah, nah. and have some fun. I, 
I don't want to do that with this. Like if we took this to where I was originally planning, hmm. it's not going to work. No, definitely not. You can't gauge. There's like the three minutes. Proximity yeah, but also like three, three minutes. minutes of flying when it said 45 minutes. We of do have flight some time. lipo packs there we could join together, but I don't know that you'd bother, would you? Yeah, this is already. Uh, well, it's using about a thousand milliamps a minute. Yeah. So that's on, and that's, that's not crazy flying. No. As well. So no, I'm not a fan at all. Were you scared of it? I was scared I was going to run into stuff. Okay, we, I, I was scared when of it coming were, near us. Yeah, when you were flying, I was a bit... <laughs> I didn't <laughs> want it near us. This guy yeah. scares me. Yeah, all right, that's how I feel as well. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad we did some testing because yeah, I'm going to say I don't like it. And uh, the mission that we had planned, it's not, it's not no. suitable. No. All right, who should cool. get this? can't think of anyone. There we go. All right, it's probably, uh, it's probably how I sort of feel too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, hey. thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, that's terrible, dude. I was so excited to, when you first turned up at your house. I saw it, I was like, oh, Yeah, awesome. I was like, this is going to be a monster. This yeah. is going to be cool. Because I think it was that same week we'd just done the first, the maiden flight on the seven inch, and mm -hmm. that was just like, wow, it blew me away. I, I have to say, this feels like that flight experience of how it felt on the sticks and hard to control is the best representation I can give you on what FPV felt like in about 2016. You know, so like your five inches kind of, you know, you sort of had to fight them and get them around. That's what that, that's almost like going back in time, so. All right, now look, I have to apologize to you guys and this company should apologize to me because I feel like the things they said were flat out lies. I had all plans to go and do some big long range mountain climbing, cruising over the ocean, having a wicked time with this, getting those 45 minute flight times and getting the 150 kilometer per hour, I guess, screamer ripping through the air. This, it didn't deliver. We had a big lipo on there. It had a heap of current pumping through it. Really, the motors were getting too hot anyway, so I don't know how much more juice we could have put through. It wasn't ridiculously fast. In terms of like lifting things, well, that's not really what I'm about when it comes to FPV. I'm gonna say, uh, don't, don't get this. Like if you enjoy FPV, if you enjoy flying around and having a fun hobby, this isn't for you. That's not who they've made this for. And to be honest, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed in myself because I don't know what I was expecting. I really thought I'd be able to have some fun missions with this. And when I was re reading those things of like, yeah, big screamer going through the air, 150 Ks per hour, 45 minute flight times. That sounds good. I'm getting like barely three to four minutes on here. And uh, even if we put on some really big batteries, really efficient, like Lion batteries or something, there's no way you're gonna be getting 45 minutes and the speeds, they would be even slower than that, especially if you're going to be carrying something. So unfortunately for me, the best part about this drone is me. You know what, like, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna give it a thumbs down. So I didn't like it, Steve didn't like it. And if you're into FPV, this is not the video for you. However, this one definitely is on the complete flip side. This is a hundred times more fun than this big hunk of slow moving 